Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from me. Okay, you guys, so today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is fragrances, but we're not talking about perfume fumes today. We're actually talking about oils. I promise you there's not a week that goes by that I don't get a message asking me what are my favorite brown sugar babe oils. So today is the day. I have over 21 brown sugar babe oils, but we're going to talk about my favorites today. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, y'all. So like I said, I have about 21 brown sugar babe oils in my collection. And I've been knowing about brown sugar babe for the past maybe three, two to three years. But I made my first purchase at the beginning of this year. And Again, I have 21 now in my collection, but don't get it twisted. I'm always going to give you my honest opinion. Okay. Now, before we get into all of the oils that I want to talk about, I love Brown Sugar Babe. Number one, it is a black owned business, always here to support. I also really love the texture of Brown Sugar Babe oils. There's not a lot of oils that really compare to the Brown Sugar Babe oils as far as texture and moisture, in my opinion. And that's just my personal experience, okay? Now, I haven't tried every oil out there, but I've tried my fair share and I really do love these. But most importantly, not only are they super moisturizing because they have five organic oils that carry the scent, the fragrance of Brown Sugar Babe oils are unmatched, in my opinion. These are super fragrant oils, okay? Very fragrant, not lightly scented, highly scented. So just wanna put that out there. I use these as a layering component most of the time when it comes to layering my fragrances and they last a very long time. You can actually smell them all day and people will compliment you on these. So if you're looking for just like a nice little oil to throw on, these may not be it because again, these are heavily scented oils, okay? So let's start off with my first oil. I was on this Gourmand Vanilla Kick at the beginning of the year and Caked Up was recommended to me. I picked it up and this is what it looks like. I didn't even wanna bring it out here, y'all, because this bottle looks insane, but you can see how much of this I have used. And this is the eight ounce bottle. This is the largest size bottle that they carry. I love this oil, it's so good. So on the website, it says, Caked Up is just a wonderful, sweet fragrance. Imagine you are five years old and your mom is mixing up some cake batter for your birthday cake. And that's exactly what it's giving. It's giving more so cake batter icing than like fully baked cake. And that is exactly what I was looking for. I realized I don't really want a foody type of vanilla. I wanted it to be gourmand in the sense of like cake batter and icing and this is that. So the notes in this one is just a sugary aroma of fresh vanilla beans, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And you guys, this smells so good. This is the one that I use the most because I wear this to bed. I put it in my bath water and I also layer it. But when I got this, um, I think it was like January or February. So of course I wore it all winter, but I definitely be bringing this one back out for the fall and winter um, of 2024. Such a great, like again, cake batter vanilla type of fragrance. The only thing about this large size, it does leak, okay? And that's why I didn't really wanna bring it in here because the whole bottle is just super oily. So I have to keep this, it has its own little special place on my nightstand. I have like a little jewelry um, tray and it has a B on it and this is where this sits, okay? So absolutely love this. It's so comforting, it's so soothing, and again, it's super moisturizing. So as soon as I get out of the shower, I put this on and then I may put on like a body butter or some type of lotion before bed. And to me, this is a fragrance that I'll never get tired of. It's just very cozy, something that I love wearing to bed all year round, but layering this definitely in the fall and winter. And this is also one of Brown Sugar Babe's own scents. So this one retails for $50 for the eight ounce, but the most common size is the four ounce and that retails for $38, just for price reference. Now, speaking of vanillas, I did recently pick up 
creme de la creme. Now I like to purchase my brown sugar babe oils when they have a sale, Black Friday sale, birthday sale, whatever it is where I can get 20 or 30% off because these are a little bit more on the higher end side when it comes to a body oil. But don't forget, these are highly fragranced. So to me, they're worth it. I mean, obviously I have 21 in my collection, but I love these. Now, this was another one that was recommended to me at the beginning of my journey, looking for my vanilla uh, oil. And Creme de la Creme is Brown Sugar Babe's interpretation of Vanilla 28 from Kaoli. So to me, this, it does smell like the Kaoli when you smell it directly from the bottle. However, when I wore this, and I only wore this once so far, when I wore this, I got Bianco Latte, okay? It is extremely lactonic when you like rub this into your skin. And I also get a little bit of whatever that is in Bianco Latte, like that minty coumarin vibe. That's what it smells like to me once I rub this in. And that is one thing I will say about some of the brown sugar babe oils. They may smell a little bit different um, just like at first sniff than when you actually rub them and work them into the skin. So yeah, like I do like creme de la creme, but caked up is my favorite when it comes to like an edible vanilla. This is one that I'll definitely be wearing more so in the winter time. I'll definitely be uh, wearing this and layering it with Bianco Latte and a lot of my other vanilla fragrances, but this is more spicy to me, okay? So I do like Creme de la Creme, but I haven't used much of this, only wore it once. This is definitely a fan favorite from Brown Sugar Babe. Another absolute favorite of mine is It Girl, and this is um, a collaboration with Kayla Greaves and Brown Sugar Babe. It Girl is one of the ones that I did receive in PR. And when I tell you, this is probably my favorite. I mean, it's hard. I love them so much. But this one is very unique to me, you guys. This is a super sweet, woody type of oil. I feel like it mixes well with a lot of fragrances and it adds depth to a lot of my fragrances. So when I kind of don't know what to wear, I throw this one on and it just gives me like that little sexy oomph to my uh, fragrance combo. So again, this one is in collaboration with Kayla Greaves and this has notes of bergamot and black pepper. You definitely get the black pepper. The middle notes are amber, myrrh, Bulgarian rose, and the bottom notes are patchouli, vetiver, and musk. Y'all, this is such a good one. Oh, it, I'm wearing it today. It pairs well with so many different things. I love wearing this with Myrrh and Tonka. I love wearing this with um, Vanilla 28. I love wearing it with Baccarat. I mean, so many different fragrances. I also like adding depth to like Carolina Herrera Good Girl. That's a good one to mix. Uh, good Girl Blush. Also, um, Burberry Her great one to mix with this. Like if you have some of your more fresh fragrances and you want to add that depth, It Girl is the one and it literally makes you smell like an It Girl. This is a beautiful, beautiful body oil. Like I said, very, very, very versatile. Okay. So I absolutely love this one. And I also like the packaging on this and you don't need a lot. You guys, you really do not. Another favorite of mine is Moolah. And I've put a lot of you onto this one. So this one is Brown Sugar Babe's interpretation of Lyra from Zerjoff. And y'all, it really does smell like Lyra. It smells yeah, it's that lemon gourmand. This is more like a lemon spiced cake, if you will. Very, very, very good. Okay, I layer this with all of my lemon gourmands. I have layered this with Bacciami. I've layered it with Devotion. I've layered it with Hard to Get. Um, the list goes on. This is good. You can add this to like your orange fragrances as well because this does have an orange note. So think like, um, what is the orange creamsicle fragrance I have? Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc signature. This goes well with that if you want to make Mont Blanc just a little bit more fall appropriate because to me that's like a spring summer fragrance but it's still like kind of lactonic and fresh. It goes perfect with this one okay. So Moolah has top notes of blood orange, bergamot, and lavender. The middle notes are cinnamon, licorice, and jasmine. The licorice is not scary you guys and the base notes are caramel, vanilla, and musk. This one is amazing if you like lemon gourmands, if you like smelling 
very edible. This is a great one. Now, since I mentioned bachiyami, I have to mention the oil. So Brown Sugar Babe came out with two oils at the same time. Well, actually three. It was Touch Me, Kiss Me, and Marry Me. Now, Kiss Me is inspired by bachiyami. So the top notes are gardenia, the middle note is vanilla, and the base note is amber. And you guys, this smells like bachiyami. If anything, it's just a little bit more on the gardenia side. Yeah, it's just a little bit more on the gardenia side. But I will say because it has vanilla in this, when it um, kind of macerates and like sits a little longer, you'll probably get a little bit of a heavier vanilla. But it smells just like bachiyami to me. I, I love it. I really love it. Bachiyami is one of my favorite fragrances. You guys know that. It's one of my like signature scents and I wear it all the time. So love me some Kiss Me. I do think if you test this out just to see if you want to get Bachiyami, this is a good one to see if you want to get it. Now again, to me, this is a little bit more on the sharper floral side. Bachiyami, the fragrance is just a little softer to me. Um, but I mean, when it comes to layering, I want something that is going to project and you can smell it, right? And so Bachiyami, even though it is a beautiful fragrance and it is strong, this helps it. It really does. So when I layer these two, the compliments don't stop. Love this. I actually have two of these. So I purchased the set on my own and then I ended up receiving it in PR. So that just lets you know how excited I was for this. So yeah, I have two. So yeah, I absolutely love Kiss Me and I highly recommend it if you like Bachiyami or if you want to get a little bit of a taste of Bachiyami at an affordable price. Now, affordability is subjective because the fragrance oils on Brown Sugar Babe that are inspired by other brands are more expensive. So like I said, Caked Up, I think I paid $50 for the big bottle. This one is $65 for the four ounce, okay? So just keep that in mind. But again, when they have those sales, that is the time that you want to rack up on your favorites. Next up, we might as well talk about Marry Me. So this is Brown Sugar Babe's interpretation of the Wedding Silk Santal from Kayali. And I do feel like this is why everybody was hopping on this like trio that they came out with because everybody was wanting to get their hands on Marry Me, especially because at the time, you could not get your hands on Silk Santal to save your life, okay? Since this release, Silk Santal has come back so you can get it at Sephora and also the Huda Beauty website, just an FYI. But Marry Me Oil, you guys, it is so good. It smells pretty similar in my opinion. Again, when I'm looking at these oils, I am okay with a small variation. When I smell it, I know that it's supposed to be Marry Me, right? Um, but I don't mind a little bit of a variation because it makes for great layering. So Marry Me has notes of champagne, freesia, and black currant. It also has middle notes of nectarine, pink praline, jazz, Jasmine, Damask Rose, Orange Blossom, and the bottom notes are Musk, Santal, Oakwood, and Vanilla Essence. And yeah, this is Marry Me. I would say I do get a little bit more rose in this, but it's still definitely a vanilla and it has that Kaoli vanilla DNA in there specifically. So Marry Me is a good one, you guys. If you like the Wedding Silk Santal, this is a good one to have. If you don't want the Wedding Silk Santal and you just want to get like an oil and maybe like layer different fragrances, this is a good one, you guys. Again, more than anything, I just love the way that these make my body look and feel, okay? They're great oils all around. So this is a good one. Another one of my favorites has to be Madam, and this is Brown Sugar Babe's interpretation of House of Siage's Minnie Mouse fragrance, which is like a raspberry marshmallow fragrance. And this is for the girls who like something very fruity and sweet. But more sweet than anything, this is extremely sweet, you guys. Like you get a lot of marshmallow in this. So the notes in Madam are marshmallow, whipped cream, raspberry, caramel, coconut, vanilla, musk, and cedar. And more than anything, I just get like a raspberry marshmallow combo. It's really candy-like. Like think of a raspberry like cream saver. 
that's that's kind of what this smells like so i love this one and you can see i have a nice little dent in her i also like to mix this with the next oil that i'm gonna um show you because that oil is so strong and it adds just a little bit of sweetness so yeah madam is really good if you like Minnie Mouse from the House of Siage. You will love this. And I think that this is just a good one to add to your collection if you are looking for like a fruity marshmallowy type of oil to do any type of layering with. You can layer this with a lot of different things. So sometimes like I will layer this with Delina, like the original Delina when I want to add like a sweetness to it, but not go all the way like exclusive and have that powdery vibe. I layered this with Givenchy Irresistible, which is a very bright, fresh floral so a lot of my fresh floral fragrances that i want to add a little bit of sweetness to i may add um madam to it because it just adds like that little candy sweetness to it it's just so fun i love this one and highly recommend it speaking of the one that i like to layer madam with hibiscus drive you guys hibiscus drive is beast mode so this is inspired by mason crivelli's hibiscus mahajad okay and like i said this thing is strong. You don't need much. You do not need much. So if you have not experienced Hibiscus Mahajad, Hibiscus Mahajad is like a very floral. I'll think of Delina, but Hibiscus, but like smack you in the face beast mode. I mean, that thing is strong, you guys. And I do not have that fragrance because it's super like pungent to me. I think it smells really good, but I prefer the oil because it's just easier for me to work with. Okay. So that's another reason why I like the brown sugar babe oils because they are very fragrant, but when you're spreading it all over your body, it's not as intense as putting a concentrated fragrance on. You know what I'm saying? So the notes of hibiscus mahajad are hibiscus, damask rose, vanilla, leather, mint, musk and cinnamon this is for the grown women okay the oh this thing is so strong you guys but i get so many compliments on this and especially adding a little bit of that sweetness with the madam raspberry vanilla musk all those things adding that to this it made it a lot more wearable for me i had a combo that i wore when i was in dc and you guys everybody was asking me what i was wearing so i wore those two oils and then i put creed carmina on top beast mold combination it was so good and it was elegant without being like overly mature and it projected and lasted all night okay so if you have been wanting to try hibiscus mahajad check out brown sugar babes oil because it is beast mode it will last you and you probably wouldn't even need the fragrance unless you just really love it that much and you want it this is nuclear, okay? Be careful with this one. It's so good. Another favorite of mine is Cloud Nine, you guys. Now, this is Brown Sugar Babe's original um, formulation. And this surprised me because when I looked up the notes, I thought this would be something really nice and sweet and cozy and subtle to wear to bed. But this surprised me at how, like, it's still cozy, but it really does last and it's strong okay so for me when i'm going to bed i need just vanilla i don't know i just do better with like vanilla or like a soft cotton candy something that is closer to the body i don't know what it is it's just this is not as soothing i felt like i had on a fragrance like a really strong fragrance going to bed and it was kind of irritating okay but i love this to layer it's really good and i do recommend it you can see I have a little bit of a dent. Again, you don't need much of these. Look at how cute the packaging is on this. I love the like pink little sticker that it has. But yeah, Cloud Nine is really good. So the notes are very simple in Cloud Nine. You have sweet vanilla and marshmallow topped off by sandalwood and magnolia blossom. The sandalwood in this is very heavy. Yes, very heavy on the sandalwood. And I think that's what kind of was like just feeling like I was doing too much going to bed, but it is so good. I like layering this with This Is Her from Zadig and Voltaire. Wow, that is a sandalwood bomb. These two, those two together, the best combo, you guys. So good. It has a little bit more sweetness, like fluffiness, because 
This has vanilla, but you get more of a marshmallow feel than you do just like a regular vanilla, right? It's so nice. Mm, I want to wear it now. It smells so good. I highly recommend Cloud9. It is amazing. And for you, you may be able to wear it to bed. Like for me, I'm just very particular about bedtime scents. But that's what I bought it for. And now I wear it just like layering my regular uh, fragrances. I also layered this with Cosmic from Kylie. Great, great, great combination as well. Just a beautiful, beautiful oil. I think you'll love it. And this one is on the more affordable side because again, this is Brown Sugar Babe's own. So this retails for $45 for the four ounce, okay? And Cloud9 is always sold out, you guys. So just make sure if you do see it on the site, go ahead and pick it up. Another one that surprised me is Bad and Bougie, okay? Bad and Bougie surprised me because at the time I was thinking... I was going to get a uh, rich auntie, which is Delina exclusive, their interpretation. But I have so many of the original Delina like body care that I was like, do I really need another oil? So I was seeing bad and bougie and I don't know why I was thinking they were kind of interchangeable. No, girl. So bad and bougie has notes of champagne, juicy nectarine and red currant. This is so juicy. Oh, when I smell this, it makes me thirsty, you guys. This is the sweetest, fruitiest combo, okay? If you like fruity, this is a must-have for you. Must-have. This is only $32, okay? It's a must-have. If you like fruity, this is a must-have. Layer this with all your fruity fragrances, every last one of them. I mean, like... It's so good. I layered this with Tangerine Boy and that combo was everything this past summer. Keep in mind, it is very sweet and juicy, but with Tangerine Boy, absolutely amazing. I did layer it with um, Kayali, the Wedding Silk Santal because it has Nectarine in there. What else did I layer this with? I layered this with Donna Born in Roma. I'm trying to think of what else. I layered this with Carmina. And the other night, I was just testing out some things. Just went to grab something to eat. Y'all, I layered this with Oud Satin Mood from MFK and Silk Mood. Woo! Lethal. Because those fragrances are already strong and like darker. But adding this fruitiness to it, it was so good, y'all. So Bad and Bougie is definitely one that I think you should check out. And it's a good starter because it's not as expensive as some of the Inspired by Fragrances. But it's sold out right now. This is another one that's always sold out. So if you ever do catch it, just grab it. Just grab it. 32 bucks. You'll love it if you like sweet, juicy, fruity type of fragrances. Now, my next oil that I want to talk about, I don't want to say that this is a favorite, but it is a favorite amongst the floral type of oils that I have from Brown Sugar Babe. I haven't had the best luck when it comes to the floral um, scented oils from Brown Sugar Babe. I have Unicorn Essence. I have Hibiscus Mahajai, which I do like. And then I have Lotus Flower Balm, which just smells like fresh cut flowers. And then I also have Lady Luck. Mm -mm. Lady Luck, you guys, smells like pine trees. I don't know what happened. And Lady Luck is inspired by Donna Born in Roma. I don't know what happened with that one, but I don't use it. I can't use it. I've tried. It's not good to me. And y'all know how I feel about Donna Born in Roma, okay? So this is one that is just more of an honorable mention because it is one of the better ones. But I do think... I would prefer Rich Auntie over this. So, Unicorn Essence. This is inspired by Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper from Kayali, okay? And this one is $49 for the four ounce. So you get notes of pink pepper, saffron, bergamot, and royal lily. You also get notes of Bulgarian rose, May rose, vanilla orchid, and magnolia. The base notes, you get sandalwood, amber, musk, and patchouli. This is a very like complex type of fragrance in my opinion. Like if you like sweet diamond pink pepper, you would like this. 
I will say though, the pepper in this is super strong and I kind of feel a burn when I wear this. Like when I rub this in my skin, I feel spicy, like the spiciness. It's not nothing overly, you know, like concerning, but it is pretty spicy when I put it on my skin. I do have sensitive skin, so I don't know if there's something in this that kind of like maybe is irritating my skin, but it is, it's a good one, you guys. It smells really good. This is also another beast mold oil. It can stand alone. You can wear this by itself and people will smell you. It will project. Similar to Hibiscus Mahajat, but Hibiscus Mahajat just has more of a punch in there. This one is a little bit more soft, I would say but it's definitely strong. And I would say it could be unisex. I mean, when I think of Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, I think feminine simply because the bottle is pink. Um, but the spiciness in this and the rose could definitely lean a little bit masculine if you want it to. Unisex, I would say, not masculine, because to me, this still smells very feminine. This pairs really well with MFK Oud Silk Mood. Love it because of the rose notes. I also like to pair this with a couple of my House of Siage fragrances like Chabot Dor. It has a strawberry note, but I do like what this adds to it. And funny enough, I like to pair this with my mini fragrance from the House of Siage because to me, I just feel like it needs more. Like Madam is nice and of course it will pair very well with Minnie Mouse, but the Minnie Mouse fragrance to me, it just needs a little bit more depth. And I feel like Unicorn Essence adds that depth. This also can go well with all of your Delinas, whether it's the La Rose, the Exclusive or the Original. This also pairs well with Burberry Her. I mean, so many of your fragrances, your florally type of fragrances, this pairs really well with. I also love pairing this with Monocar from Indult. Such a good one. Like that Monocar has that sweet vanilla lychee in there and then mixing it with Unicorn Essence, it gives it a little bit more depth. It is a beautiful combination. Now this last body oil, listen, this is for the grown women out there, okay? This is Blonde Ambition and this is inspired by a Clive Christian fragrance, which is called Blonde Amber. Let me just tell you something. Clive Christian, they don't play any games when it comes to fragrances, nor do they play games when it comes to the price tag, okay? This is so sexy, you guys. I wore this um, when I was in New York for Fashion Week, and I got so many compliments on this body oil. Oh, my goodness. So this is for the girls who like woody, um, deeper, like sexy type of fragrances. Think Side Effect from Initio. So the notes in Blonde Ambition are rum, frankincense, bitter orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are pink pepper and tuberose. And the base notes are tobacco, dried apricot, and tonka and vetiver. Woo, she don't play no games. Okay, so I like to layer this with Side Effect because it has a rum note. Those two, I mean, it's just like a match made in heaven. Very, very, very sexy date night, nighttime type of fragrance. I also like layering this with NDA from Forever Mood. It also has tobacco flower in here and rum as well. And it really amps up NDA because NDA is very light, but it smells magical. Okay. It's so sexy and beautiful. Love pairing it with that. Um, also like pairing this with You Remind Me from um, Forever Mood. So You Remind Me has apricot skin in it and this has like an apricot essence. And because this is so deep, it blends really well. It's almost like just wearing this, but then having like a little mist of something on top because You Remind Me is one of those Your Skin But Better fragrances, but it's one of my favorite types of those scents, you know? So yeah, the Blonde Ambition, again, this is one of the only ones that I would say that I have that is like deep, sexy type of fragrance. And you need one of these, you need a woody fragrance um, oil in your collection. If you're gonna get one, Blonde Ambition needs to be the one. Okay, y'all, so that is the end of my Brown Sugar Babe video. I am a huge fan of Brown Sugar Babe. 
Absolutely love the company. I love their oils. Like I said, I really love how they moisturize my skin. They give me such a glow. And on top of that, the fragrance is top tier. Okay. A lot of the times when I have purchased body oils that are supposed to layer with fragrances, the fragrance just, just does not hold. They just don't hold up. Okay. Just to be honest, they don't hold up. Brown Sugar Babe has some of the strongest body oils that I've ever smelled in my life, if not the strongest, okay? Uh, another good brand is Skin Potion. I have a few from them, so if you want a video on those, let me know, but I prefer their body butters um, just for packaging-wise. But Brown Sugar Babe, top, obviously. I mean, I have so many of these in my collection, and I'm going to tell you that it's continuing to grow. I have one on the way in PR, but I also ordered... 100 Silent Ways, the fragrance. I found it on a really good deal. So of course I had to order the matching body oil to match it. You know what I mean? So yeah, that is the end of this video. Let me know some of your favorite brown sugar babe oils down below, especially if I didn't mention them. Please let me know because I'm always looking to add more. Brown Sugar Babe usually has sales, like I said, for Black Friday. They have done sales in the past for like their anniversary, birthdays. Um, so, and then every now and then you may find like a code. And there are some influencers that have a 10% off code. I personally don't have a code for you guys. So I don't get any kickback or anything. But again, I am on the PR list. So I do receive some of the new releases. Um, but I'm always happy to answer any questions that you may have. So leave those down below. Also, don't forget, let me know some of your favorites down below um, in the comment section as well, because I'm looking for more. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye y'all.